All right, guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you how I would mix a snare bottom mic. I've done some snare videos on here before, but I kind of wanted to show you a different uh, way that I think about snare bottom at different times. You know, it's not what I do every time, but this is what I will do sometimes when I, when it's called for. Sometimes on a snare bottom, all we need it for is the brightness. We don't need it for any of the body. You know, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. In this case, I would say we don't. And so this is a time I would use the snare bottom as really almost like a bright mic, you know, as just a boost in the top end and nothing else. So let's take a listen to it. We'll slowly bring it in as it is with no EQ or compression. And then I'll, I'll kick those on and we'll listen to see what it's doing. Just the top. Now here comes the bottom with, uh, with nothing on it. All right, so one major thing I've noticed here uh, immediately um, is that it is out of phase and it's not completely out of phase because when I do the phase flip, it didn't help much. It both sounded bad to me, and so that kind of initially makes me think that it's out of phase, and you know, almost out of phase at all times. Either way that it's going, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do to compensate for that you know, if I'm not in a situation where I can just run up on stage and fix it, what I'm going to do is get rid of the stuff that's clashing and use that so that it's just almost more of a tone mic. So I'm going to kick these on and you can hear what we're doing. All right, so you can tell that it immediately brought that body back uh, into the snare and also some brightness on the top end. So we're getting pretty extreme with it, but here's what it looks like. So I even forgot to turn the low cut on. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a extreme low shelf. I think, is this all the way? Yeah, it's basically maxed out all the way down um, on the first band uh, with a low cut, you know, at a 100. Who cares it's, if it's doing this much on the low shelf? And then I'm just doing a boost from t basically, what's that, 9K and up, so 10K and up just with a shelf until it just sounds good. It brings out that brightness. So that is just kind of the tone shaping that I'm doing where I'm really taking everything out except for the upper mids and then boosting the, the super top end uh, just to get that sizzle. And then on our compressor, I have a, just a, a ratio of 2 to 0, our attack time all the way down at, at zero milliseconds, hold is at 10, and release is at 20 milliseconds. My thought process is I'm not even using this at, for transients. All I'm doing is I want the, 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 the snares to be lengthened, and I'm doing that by taking that transient off and then immediately almost releasing so that it takes off that initial transient of it but then lets the other stuff come through. So that's kind of my thought process of, of this um, so that it it just becomes a tone mic. It's not really doing anything for um, the uh, body of the snare necessarily. We don't have any of that mid-range in there at all. Uh, but what that does do, because it's slightly out of phase, is it allows the top mic to carry all the body of it so it gives you the illusion of adding more body in, if that makes sense, because it's no longer canceling itself out a little bit. So that's how I would do this. You know, let's do a quick A-B again. Without. And with. So that's how I would uh, mix this snare uh, again. Uh, drop a comment, do all that good stuff. Uh, hit the link for the free reverb cheat sheet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.